What's up? Welcome to a little update on Lingling Life here in Beijing. Because I haven't done anything like this for a really long time and I know that my videos are really far behind the real day so I thought, you know, I would just sit down and tell you guys what I'm up to because a lot of things are happening here and uh, I want to share it with you, of course. So, yeah, let's get started if you're ready. <laughs> I am, so yeah. Um, okay, so the first thing uh, I'm doing at this moment is that I'm doing my internship at this school called LTL, Live the Language Mandarin School, where foreigners come from all over the world, come to China for studying, studying Mandarin, of course. There are different programs for this school, so one is in Beijing, one is in Shanghai, and one is in Chengdu, which is a small town just outside of Beijing. So, tomorrow I'm gonna go out there to Chengdu, two hours outside, or three hours outside of Beijing. I'm gonna go out there to meet one of the students from the school, and then we're gonna do a small series of uh, videos about life in Chengdu and how it is to fully immerse into the Chinese society and language and tradition and all these great things. Um, so I'm very excited for that. I'm gonna go tomorrow after class and then I'm gonna stay until Sunday. So that's the first thing I am telling you guys about what I'm doing right. That's the first thing I'm... So that's the first thing I want to tell you guys. Hey, the second thing is that uh, two weeks ago on a Saturday I met another blogger who was really nice and I said to her, you know what, I want to do food reviews for restaurants in Beijing. And she said, well that's great because I'm a foodie and I would love that too. So she's writing a blog post and I'm making a video. So what we did was to talk about our favorite restaurants and we sent out a, an email to the places we wanted to go and make a food review from. And some of them said yes. Well, we actually, we sent out two now. I didn't prepare more. We sent out two and we got one back and they had two restaurants. So you guys gonna soon see Ling Ling going to a very, very fancy restaurant called Temple, uh, yeah, Temple Restaurant Beijing Bites. Uh, very interesting experience and really delicious food. Yeah, so that video is up very soon and next week we're gonna go and do a food, re food review for their other restaurant called Temple, uh, Temple Restaurant Beijing. Temple, yeah, Temple Restaurant Beijing, TRB. <laughs> um, so that's a great experience and I'm probably gonna do more of, uh, of those with uh, some other blogger friends because that's another great thing uh, here in Beijing. Lately I've been meeting up with a lot of different bloggers and it's so exciting because we have so much in common and it's just very interesting to hear their stories and talk about, you know, blogging and life in China. It's just great. So that's another thing going on here, number two. And then we have number three. Yes. Uh, number three is that I went to my friend and told him about a video idea I wanted to do for his company because they are also um, helping foreigners coming to China and fully immersed in the Chinese society they have different programs uh, you can do here in China that are gonna help you like you can study Mandarin or you can volunteer or teach English or take an internship or be a student here and they're gonna help you uh, actually you can see link below I have a discount code for you guys $50 off if you're interested take a look uh, Imachi is uh, my friend's company called uh, so I went to their office and I talked about this idea that I wanted to do I wanted to make a series called in the life in the day in the day in the one day there we go one day in the life of a da 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 student in china english teacher in china volunteer in china you know what i mean um and they were very excited about it so i'm gonna start out next week with uh, one student who is studying at Tsinghua university which uh he came here uh, with the help from my friend's company, Imachi. So that's really cool. I'm gonna start do that next week. And next week is also gonna be very exciting because thing number four is also gonna happen next week on Thursday. Yeah, uh, what is gonna happen? Well, I 
my friend's friend was offered a uh, press trip and then he said no because he was abroad and then he sent it to my friend and she said no because of work <clears throat> and then they sent it to me and I was like yeah of course <laughs> And uh, you might think, oh, but it wasn't really for you. Well, it doesn't matter, you know, because in the end, I got the press trip. So I'm gonna go two days around Beijing <clears throat> with a sea trip, sponsored by Sea Trip, and uh, uh, this company called Juicy, which is a new startup. I met with the boss and his partner, and they're really, really interesting and cool people. So I'm looking forward to work more with them. But yeah, next week, I'm gonna go two days and uh, we're gonna uh, like learn more about traditional Chinese medicine and also see some sightseeing spots here in Beijing. So that's gonna be very exciting as well. Yeah, that's what it, what's uh, going on in Beijing right now. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions to any of the things I'm gonna do, please leave comments below. And uh, I love talking to you guys. And if you wanna let me know what you guys are up to these days, then please put that down below as well. So we can chit chat, chit chat. <laughs> that's very nice. So anyway, um, I should go now because I'm tired tired and I keep talking if I'm tired and I speak bad English when I'm tired and you guys probably wouldn't want to listen to that so